Welcome to EasyMath and Circuit. In this video, we will be looking at how to convert decimal fractions from base 10 to other bases. In order to convert fractions from base 10 to other bases, we know in fractions there is always the whole number part and the decimal part. To convert fractions from base 10 to other bases, we first convert the whole number part to the new base and then the fractional part to the new base. And now to convert the whole number part from base 10 to other bases, you may like to check out one of our videos on how to convert numbers from base 10 to other bases. The link is showing at the top of your screen right now. So for example, We will be converting 0.9 to 1875 from base 10 to binary. As you all know, binary is also known as base 2. So we have our 0.9 to 1875. As I said earlier, to convert a decimal fraction, you first convert the whole number part. first convert the whole number part and then the fractional part. The whole number part as we have here is 0 so and 0 in base 10 is also 0 in base 2 so we have 0 as the whole number part. Now to convert the decimal part from base 10 to other bases what you do is you multiply the decimal part you multiply it continuously by the new number base you are converted to. As we have here, we are converted to base 2. So we multiply our 0 0.921875 continuously by 2, as in this case. So we have our 0 0.921875. We multiply it by 2. Our point nine two one eight seven five is also the same as zero point nine two one eight seven five. So we multiply it by two. If you do that, you press your calculator, you have one point eight four three seven five. So what you do in this case, you write out the whole number part, you bring out the whole number you got from your answer. Like we have here, we have 1, you bring out the 1, and then you multiply the rest again by 2. You multiply the rest again by 2, so we have 0.84375. Multiply by 2 again. This is also the same as 0. So, to if you multiply this by 2 again, you have... 1.6875. As I said, you bring out this whole number, bring it out here, we have one here as the whole number, and you multiply the rest. You multiply the decimal you got in your answer, you multiply it again by 2. So we have 0.6875. Multiply by 2 again. This is still the same as 0. So if you multiply this by 2 again, you have 1.375. You bring out your 1 here, this one, you bring it out here. Now you multiply the rest by 2. You have 0.375. Still the same as 0 0.375. Multiplied by 2 again, we have, if you multiply 0 0.375 by 2, we have, we have 0 0.75. As in this case, this 0 is our whole number part. So we bring out the 0 here. This is 0, not 6. We bring out the whole number, which is 0 in this case. And you multiply the rest by 2 again, 
0.75 multiplied by 2. If you multiply 0 0.75 by 2, you have 1.5. So you bring out this one, bring it out here, and you multiply the rest by 2. So we have 0.5, which is the same as 0 0.5 multiplied by 2, we have 1. Your 1 is still the same as your 1.0. So you bring out your 1 here. You bring it out here. So what you do is you, con you continuously multiply the decimal part by the new number base you are converting to. And you continue the multiplication until you arrive at a whole number with 0 as the decimal part. Once again, you continuously multiply the decimal part by the new number base you are converted to. And then you continue your multiplication until you arrive at a whole number. In this example, so as our finance, our 0 0.9 to 1875 in base 10 is equal to we have 0 0.111011 in base 2. So in this example, we have simply converted a fraction, a decimal fraction, from base 10 to binary, which is also our base 2. Let's see how it works with another base. Let's see how it works with another base different from binary. So let's convert 0 0.70592 from base 10 to a number in base 5. The number in base 5. The first step is the first step of our conversion. is you first convert the whole number part to the new base and then you convert the decimal part to the new base. As we have here, our whole number part is 0. 0 is in base 10. is also the same as 0 in base 5. So the whole number is we also, we also be 0 in base 5. So we have our 0 point. And then we continuously multiply the decimal part continuously multiplied by the new base we are converted to, which is 5 in this case. So we have our 0 0.70592 multiplied by 5, as in this case, this is the same as 0. If you multiply your 0 0.70592 by 5, you are going to get 3. Point Five to nine six. As I said in the last example, what you do in this case is bring out the whole number you got from your multiplication, bring it out here, and then you multiply the decimal part by five. So we have our point five to nine six multiply by five. So if you multiply your 0 0.5 to 96 by 5, your calculator is going to give you 2.648. Bring out your 2 here. Multiply the rest by 5. We have our point, point 0.648. Multiply by 5 once again. If you do your multiplication, what you are going to get is 3.24. Bring out the whole number, which is still in this case. Bring it out here and then multiply. Multiply the rest, which is 0.24. Multiply it by 5 once again. Because 5 is the new base we are converted to. 0.24 multiplied by 5. 
that is going to give you 1.2 bring out your 1 multiply the rest which is 0.2 in this case multiply the rest by 5 if you multiply your 0.2 by 5 it's going to give you 1 so that means we are going to stop our multiplication in the, at this point because you continuously do your multiplication until you arrive at a whole number we therefore uh, 0 0.70592 in base 10 is equal to 0 0.32311 in base 5 so in any case whatever base you are converted to will be a multiplier as you have 5 here if you are converted to B6, you multiply by 6. If you are converted to 7, you multiply by 7. And you continue your multiplication until you arrive at a whole number. So what happens if your multiplication does not terminate easily? I mean, if you, if you continuously do your multiplication and you don't arrive at a whole number. So what do you do in that case? Let's see. An example in that regard. Let's convert 0 0.1875 from base 10. Convert it to a number in base 3. As we've known at this junction that to convert a decimal fraction from base 10 to base 3 you first convert the whole number but in this case we have zero as our whole number so your zero in base 10 is also the same as your zero in base 3 if you multiply your 0 0.1875 if you multiply it by 3 you are going to have 0 0.5625 you bring out the whole number which is zero here you bring it out and then you multiply the rest multiply the rest by three, three again which is our new base multiply your 0.5625 multiplied by three this is still the same as 0 0.5625 this is still the same as this so if you multiply your 0 0.5625 by three you are going to have 1.6875 you bring out your whole number which is one here bring it out multiply the rest by tv And then you have 2.0625 you write out the whole number write out the whole number multiply the rest by 3 so if you continue your multiplication you will continuously be having a decimal number in this case so in such case what you do is you stop your multiplication at any number of steps you wish or at any degree of accuracy you are required either you are given a specific number of decimal places or significant figures in your answer so you stop your multiplication at a certain number of steps for decimals that are not terminating i mean decimals that are not producing a whole number as its product you just stop at a specific number of steps or you at a required level of accuracy therefore our 0 0.1875 in base 10 is equal to 0 0.02012 in base 3 if you wish to continue your multiplication you can continue just stop at a number of steps or at a required degree of accuracy.
so what happens when we have a question with the whole number part greater than zero how do you do the conversion if you are given a number like 13.875 base 10 if you are to convert that to a number in base 2 which is binary in this case we have a whole number part which is greater than zero so to do such conversion first convert the whole number first convert it to base 10, to the new base and you convert the decimal part also to the new base to convert our 13 from base 10 to binary which is base 2 so what you do is you do your long division as usual you can watch that in one of our previous videos the link is in the description below we have our 13 we have our 2 13 divided by 2 we have 6 you mean that 1 6 divided by 2 you have 3 you mean that 0 3 divided by 2 you have 1 you mean that 1 1 divided by 2 that's not possible you replace it with 0 and you break down your 1 here this our one here is our most significant digits that means this one will be at the most left hand side so that means we write our answer from the bottom up therefore our 13 here is 1101 in page 2 we have successfully converted our whole number part to binary and then to convert the fractional part now which is 0.875 in base 10. I want to convert it to a number in base 2. This is to the same as 0 0.875. So to convert this to base 2, as we've been doing in our previous examples, we multiply 0 0.875 and multiply it by 2 because we are dealing with binary in this case. Your 0 in base 10 is still the same as 0 in base 2. So multiply this by 2. If you multiply 0 0.875 by 2, you are going to have 1.75. You bring out your 1. Bring out your 1 here. You multiply the rest by 2. So we have 0 0.75 multiplied by 2. To the same as 0 0.75, multiply that by 2, you are going to have 1.5. Bring out your 1, multiply the rest by 2, multiply 0.5 by 2, which is 0 0.75, 0 0.5, multiply that by 2, that's going to give you 1. So, you write, you bring out your 1. As we have arrived at the at the home number, so that means our zero point eight seven five in base ten is equal to zero point one 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 in base two. Therefore, our financial will be a combination of the whole number parts, which is one one zero one, and the fractional part, the decimal part, which is 0 0.111. Therefore, this is our final answer. But therefore, our 13.875 in base 10, which is a combination of the whole number part, which is 1101 and the decimal part which is point one 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 in base two. Very simple. In some cases, your question might be given as a proper or improper or mixed fraction. Just for example, if you are to convert one fifty, one fifty whole number. 59 over 125 
you have to convert such number from base 10 to a number in another base let's say base 5 in this case if you have to convert this kind of fraction which is a mixed fraction in this case to convert this to another base the first thing is the first thing you do is you convert this to a decimal fraction now if you convert this to a decimal fraction you are going to have 150.472 in base 10 if you are given a fraction in this form what you first do is convert the fraction to a decimal fraction and you do your conversion the way we have done others you first convert your 150 which is the whole number part you convert it to base 5 and to convert that to base 5 you continuously divide your 150 by 5 150 divided by 5 will give you 30 and it will remain 0 but 30 divided by 5 will give you 6 and it will remain 0 but 6 divided by 5 will be 1 and it will remain 1 your 1 divided by 5 that is not possible so you place this one with 0 and you bring down your 1 here this one in your most significant digit that means it will be the number the left hand side therefore you write your number from the bottom write your number from the bottom up then your 150 in base 10 is equal to 1100 in base 5 we are successfully converted the whole number part We have successfully converted the whole number part to base 5. Therefore, our whole number part is now 1100 points. So let's convert the decimal part now to base 5. The decimal part is 0.472, which is the same as 0 0.472 multiplied by 5. You multiply that by 5 you are going to have 2.36 bring out the whole number bring it out here multiply the rest by 5.36 multiply by 5 0.36 multiply by 5 is going to give you 1.8 bring out the whole number which is 1 here Multiply the rest, which is 0 0.8, multiplied by 5. 0 0.8 multiplied by 5 is going to give you 4. That means you are going to stop your multiplication there because you have arrived at a whole number. And then you bring out your 4 to the answer section. Therefore, Our 150, therefore, our 150.472 in base 10 is equal to 1100.214 in base 5. This is the equivalent to 150 whole number 59 over 125 in base 5 very easy in this video we have easily converted fractions from this thing to other bases in our next video see how to convert fractions from other bases to base 10. Don't forget to like this video and click on the subscribe button to see more of our videos as it is coming out and to help us grow
this channel in order to reach more viewers that can also learn from this channel. See you in our next video.